So I'm bringing you another coaching session today with Space Coast Gamers who won the raffle for free coaching on my Twitch. Welcome, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, you won it? <laughs> I did. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I still appreciate it, though. <laughs> yeah, of course. My pleasure. So I see that you have a grief sheet open. Hopefully you won't need that anymore. I use it for um, items. I don't use it for comps. Um, Memory is not the best in my old age. So I use it just to kind of reaffirm what items make what. Okay. Fair enough. But wait, is this is it me or is it extremely slow? That is extremely slow. Yeah. So let's increase the speed. Um, so what's the hotkey for speed? <laughs> I don't know. I need to increase your volume. Okay, your volume needs to increase. I don't know how to do that. Um, I'll figure that out. Increase your volume, which means I guess I just mute the music. So what do you like to open? You got a you got a belt. Like what do you usually like to get? Uh, sword preferably. I was going for that sword, and then I usually go for glove, rod, or um, something else. You know, if I miss. I saw the uh, police there, so I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, so hard. Okay, that's like way too way too late. Like, okay, first of all, you need to start clicking. When it hits, like, the numbers are off. If you notice on the top, like when it says zero, it's still half a second. So, you should be clicking now. Like that was way too late. Okay. Uh, so when it's when it's at like zero, like between zero and zero, like half a second away here, that's when you should start clicking. And you should uh, set up the hotkeys a bit more, uh, a bit better, so you have more hotkeys. Yeah, that's definitely a weakness of mine. I do not use hotkeys like I should. Uh, okay, so the hotkeys are really simple. I've done this like lots and lots of times, but I guess you haven't seen it. You need a uh, player movement, I believe it's called. You see my screen, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So player movement is right click, I believe. Yeah, right click. And that's uh, standard. Yeah, that's like standard. And then you can add another one. So you you want to add like a Z. And then you have uh, like, I don't know what it's called, but it's under player movement. It's like pre-movement or something. And then you can put an X and C. Okay. In, in, the, in the settings. Like, oh, okay. so you have right click and then you add, you add Z. For movement so you're like right clicking and at the same time you're clicking on Z and then you have like pre movement which is X and C okay. um, I can just show you quickly here what that looks like because it actually it actually makes a pretty big difference and you get a lot more items that you need so wait why am I why am I showing you the end of the game yeah, attack. Yeah, attack movement. That's what it's called. It's called pre and pre movement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Movement prediction. You need movement yeah, attack, prediction on as well. Yeah, attack movement. That's what it's called. It's called pre and pre movement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Movement prediction. You need movement prediction on as well. Holy crap! Echo again. Sorry about that. No, you're all good. So, yeah, movement prediction is also another option in in the. <laughs> In the um, like options under under setup so, when you're setting up hotkeys. Yeah, movement prediction. So it's movement prediction, and you need all the other movement. And here it's what it looks like on the carousel, and you typically get what you need way more often if you're if you're clicking with, because it's it's all about the inputs, right? Like you said, I'm I'm an old guy as well, so my my APM is not as high as it should be. So the way I fix that is by having more input. So I'm I'm clicking four times while everyone else is clicking once. Uh. So even though like we're old, like clicking four times typically means we can click a little bit faster than other people who are clicking just once. Right, right. So, and if it'll, yeah, oh, come on. There we go. So, 
So that's kind of what it looked like. Oh, this one I got griefed. Never mind. But the, the previous one I got what I needed. It, like it's 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 finessing things, but like it helps. And I'm sure you can memorize the items, cause or, or at least or at least I don't know if you've seen my sheet of ten items you should always slam. Yeah, yeah, I was reading through that yesterday. Yeah. So that's probably like the only items you should be slamming, essentially. So like from this you can slam Zeke's or Morello. Or ZZ obviously, ZZ is fine too. I think that's what I did. Yeah, good. And I finally figured out the hotkeys so I can speed up a little bit. Wow, oh, it, go it goes way up, nice. Okay, so can you talk me through your thought process here a little bit? I'm still leaving that cultist option open, but I wanted that warlord option as well. Plus, I know how strong uh, what's her face is on uh, sharps, so I figured I'd pick her up, and then if I got some gold or something, I figured I'd pick her up. Okay, because there's a Garen and Wukong in the shop, so you have vanguards already available. Okay, here that's, I guess, reflexes, hotkeys, right? So let's see how much time you actually have. Okay, what the hell? You had like no time. But what, what, what should you have done? Kept the keeper, but that was a mistake. I ended up having to transition out of that court. Like this early, you, you should insta sell it and buy, buy out the, the Vanguard pair and the Nami. Because, like, right now you're forcing Keeper, right? I mean, you're forcing uh, Cultists. Yeah. But what if you don't get a Pike? Exactly. Then you just kind of look a little dumb, right? Yeah. So, had you bought the two Vanguards, that would have been guaranteed. Again, here, you have three Brawlers. You have three brawlers or brawler pair and sharpshooter pair. I slept on that. <laughs> you sell all this trash. Like, it's not trash, but it's like, you don't know if you're getting it. Right? Yeah. So, what is it like? Wait, wait, no, that's burden of... Oh, man, I don't remember the, the right analogy. But, like, something in your hand is better than... If it's not in your hand, do you know the analogy? Like, one thing in your hand is better than if you have 10 in the bush. Is it a bird in your hand? What's the analogy, man? Do you know? I don't know. I got what you're saying. No, like, if you have something guaranteed, it's better that you have something weaker guaranteed than something stronger as a possibility. Yeah. Because here, how much gold is this? Three, four, five. And by Silas... One bird in your hand is better than five in the forest. What? That's not a saying, is it? <laughs> that kind of sounds familiar. <laughs> so anyway, this is this is five gold, right? Yeah, and this is two, four, six, seven. So like you would just buy all this, and you'd have two good brawlers and two good sharpshooters, and you could level up next Necron and play two brawler, two sharpshooter, and you'd have a powerful opening okay this works as well okay this okay why did you sell everything maintaining econ what 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 econ are you maintaining please because i wanted to make sure i always just try and keep as much gold as possible in the early game if i know i have a chance of winning so that way I can get better two uh, two cost and three cost units um, heading into uh, three one. Okay, That's you mentioned you mentioned econ. Like, uh, when do you get interest? Not till after ten, which is why I wanted to get to ten as quick as possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But if you have five gold, eight gold, one gold, zero gold, there's no difference. Good point. 
So here, you could have kept the Kenneth, for example, you could have kept something, you could have kept the TF. I'm just thinking what the strongest board here would have been like, maybe Kenneth is better than, than uh, Pike here. Yeah, I ended up ditching that Pike not too long afterwards. Because I think, I think Kenneth has a more reliable stun. And if, if you put him behind the, the, the ZZ rod, or the Garen ZZ rod, he okay, okay, why have you not made the ZZ rod? <laughs> so I wasn't sure what I was going to put it on yet. I didn't want to put it on the pike. No, but you have a two-star two star Garen. I didn't want to put it on the Garen either. Why not? Because I wanted it on something on the back in case I went back to sharps. Wait, can, I don't understand. You have a two-star unit. You can make a ZZ rod. What what is the? <coughs> I, I don't know. I have it in my head that putting a ZZ rod in the front line is bad. I don't know why, but I don't like it for some reason. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know where I got it from. Okay. That's pretty much. I I never try and put ZZ rod on the front line. I always try to put on somebody who's either back line or mid. Um. Well, but this is you have three units. And you have one two-star unit. It's it's not. There's like no thought process involved. I have a two-star unit. It's a tank. It should die first. It'll spawn as easy. It's that simple. Okay. What you're saying, I understand. It's good in the mid to late game. You want like a if you have a Garen and like a bunch of sharps and like a thresh here. You want another thresh over here. But when you have three units. You just put it on your two star. Okay. It's like this easy, like ZZ Rod is okay, Garen's an exception. But ZZ Rod is better than probably Nidalee and Pike. Like the the spawn. Okay. So this like the ZZ spawn is like you have essentially four and a half, like four units or like another another Garen. So always always slam that. And Potentially, you can put the sword on Nidalee. And what you want to do, I know these units are complete trash, but you always want to buy out the shop. You never want to, like, you always want to have um, gold ending in zero. So it's always zero, 10, 20, 30. Like, it's never six. Okay. That way it just gives you more options. Right? Yes, exactly. Options. Perfect. Wow. We're putting in the sharpshooter, right? For dusk and sharpshooter. Please. Please. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you get sharpshooter and you get dusk. That's random pike. I don't know why I thought the pike at the moment was better. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, but yeah, my, my, uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. This was, okay, this was easiest win ever. My, my, my chat is laughing as well. You need to see the, the Garen, like, what are you actually, like, what is the point of this? Like, what is the point of the ZZ here, right? But I guess we've already talked about it, but like, don't ever do this again. It, it does nothing. Like, if Garen had it, Garen dies first. The ZZ spawns, and you win this. You win this round easy. Because Garen would die right now, and that would be ZZ. Yeah. And it would be a two-star ZZ rather than a one-star. Do you know, like, the scaling of ZZ, right? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's for sure, yeah. And you're not even buying the Wayne. That, that's kind of sad. So what, what is your game plan now? I have none. <laughs> I'll be honest. I have none. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> At least you're being honest. Okay. And what what is your positioning? What are you positioning for? I was positioning around the uh, assassin. Okay. You, okay. So there you grab the Z. Yeah. But imagine, imagine if you just if you just had uh, if you just had like the thresh anywhere and you corner the Nidalee. And you had ZZ on the Garen, 
Zed would just walk over to the Garen anyway. Oh, okay. So the way, like, in the early game, the way you win is by moving your Nidalee. You move it either right or left based, where the, based on where the assassins are. You don't need to, like, finesse with Azizi and, like, try to catch them. You just move your, your, your carry away from them. Okay, so you just won. What, what does that tell you? What, what, what do you need to do when you win? I? <laughs> Sorry, what? Should I have bought? Um, yes, and it's pre-level, obviously. Oh, yeah, that's right. I could have pre-level. I mean, I don't know how this board is winning, but it's definitely pre-level here. Or, like, by the Janna, at least. Like, yeah. Because it's just, like it, it honestly fascinates me like what people in in like platinum do and then they're surprised that that they're not doing as well as they could be. It's because like these little things that you're just yeah like always buy everything, that. always buy everything. There's never a reason not to buy everything. Oh God, uh, why does the pike have the IE and not the Nidalee? Yeah, I, I transitioned that over later. I realized my mistake. I okay. think it's one more match over. Okay. But yeah, I, I knew that was a mistake when I did it. Uh, by the way, you just have you have the damage tab here, right? So yeah. if you're ever confused, just open this, and you can see Nidalee's doing more damage. Yeah. And especially like once you get sharpshooters in and stuff, like it's always Nidalee. So here you just won. You're at 15 gold. Right? Yeah. So what should you always do in this situation? I should have leveled. You should have leveled, yeah. and you can you can still you can level now as well. Yeah. Cause like again, 15 gold is the same as 10. But if you level, you can I mean put another thresh. I guess nothing better, but another thresh is fine. Or maybe that's kind of what I was, yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, wow. I add one more thresh and then maybe I can get another win, squeeze out, and then I can level once I'm above 20. Another thing that's like actually counter, like if you had the ZZ on there, I think he lives a little bit longer because he has 200 extra HP. And another thing which is really bad is you're pulling units away from Garen with this easy rod. Uh, oh, so you're like griefing yourself, like Garen can spin to win, and you protect them from Garen's ulti, essentially, with this easy. So that's like double grief. There you go. Okay, now, why are you leveling now? Because I should have done it last turn, I just realized it. <laughs> but now you're over 20 gold, and you go under 20 gold if you level. Yeah. Um, and you sell the pike, and you you sell the pike here, you put in the second thresh, and you you put the IE on Nidalee or... Nidalee. Or, um, Timo. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I lose this one, too, and then that's what I do. This one or the next one. Oh, no. Oh my god, I eat on Morgana. What the hell, guys? Oh, nice. There you go. Wait, what? Morgana? No, no, no. Morgana don't have, doesn't have this. But, okay. So the, the thing is, why I wanted the Thresh in there is because if you win, you still make 20. Right? Had you sold the pike and put in the Thresh, yeah. you win and you still make 20. So, like, you've already lost a bunch of gold this game just just through bad econ management. Excuse me. Yeah, no worries, no worries. So here it's it's uh, always sell the pike and put in the thresh because you're not going to be playing the pike. And no. if, if you're not making gold, you should, you should be buying the Lux and some other thing like uh, Jarvan. Or something. I thought about the Lux, yeah, and I didn't. Nice, you know that Chen is a good unit.
Well, Pike is not doing anything, so put him over Pike, and there we go. <coughs> okay, uh, you have way too many components that you're not using. Mm -hmm. Can you explain this to me? Why they're why they're here? Yeah. I didn't want to make the um, yeah, especially since I didn't know what I wanted to do with my board because I, I knew I wasn't going to keep pretty much anything on that board at this point. Okay, so if okay, so you're not keeping anything on the board. So why doesn't Thresh have a belt, uh, Timo a bow, and uh, Nidalee a sword? A good point. Yeah, like if you don't want to make anything, then at least use the component because that's 200 health, that's 15 damage, and that's 15% attack speed. Yeah. And that, like, I understand that you don't want to make a full item. I kind of respect it here because the Zeke's is not that amazing for, for you in this situation. Yeah, so I was thinking the Zeke's was just kind of eh. And another ZZ is kind of dumb, like, you need better items, but you definitely yeah. use the components. Definitely use the components. And like the play would have been ZZ on Garen a long time ago, and he gets another belt. So you just have even more HP. Yeah. And 3 2, it costs you 12 to level. You could potentially think about leveling here because you're on a 4 win streak. It'll cost you 1 interest to level, and you put another Thresh, which is pretty good. Okay. So 3 2 is like typical level interval to 6. I generally do a three one three two. Um, I just felt like it wouldn't have made that much difference in the board, so I figured what the hell just go to fifty. Yeah, okay. I think you you could have won that here. If I mean like it was close, I think you could have won. Oh my god, how are you getting these okay, what is uh so can you explain this? Like, why not do it on a perfect interval? You know what a perfect interval is, right? Yeah, yeah. On curve, yeah. And you just <laughs> lost. Right? Yeah. So do you, do you care if you win here? I shouldn't, but I did. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't care if you win here because you just lost. So you don't care if you win here. So like, if you're if you're winning, then you have to like level and try to keep winning. As soon as you lose, and um, okay, I'm just gonna play it out for a few more seconds, but I doubt that you'll. Oh God, no, no. There's a jinx in your shop. You see this jinx? Yeah, yeah. Over Timo, or, or even over Lux. Because Lux is good, but Jinx will use the Sharpshooter synergy, and you lose again. Yeah. That that's really bad. Like leveling up to lose is, is really bad, especially since you lost or like you don't level up after you lose. Um, I guess you want the GA. So it's gone. So you want the glove? Glove? Okay. You're going for the glove, right? I yeah. hope. So now you have Morello, that's that's good. What are you gonna use the rod the, the rod for? I wasn't sure. Probably I was thinking Morello, but I didn't know where to how to place it. So I knew I was running out of time. That's why I just threw it around the board and figured I figured it out next match. But why not make the Morello on her already? It's not any good on Aurelia, is it? Well, it's like it's better than not having it. Okay. Because <laughs> like you're selling the Aurelia anyway, right? <laughs> True. And Aurelia actually has an AOE attack, like a small AOE, but like an attack. So like it it does more than nothing. Let's let's put it that way. It does more than nothing. Like here, she ulties. So he would be bleeding, he would die a little bit sooner. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe I really would survive a little bit longer with the belt, 200 HP. 
So maybe, just maybe, you could have won that. It's like the small things. Here, like, I don't know what, what you're waiting for, but you have a belt. Like, you shouldn't be just watching the fight. You, you just slam the belt. You're not even holding the belt. Okay. You can slam, like, slamming the belt gives you 200 HP. That's another option. Gotcha. Like, I, I, I cheese fight sometimes. Like, I, I don't make a GA because I don't want to commit. And if I know, like, okay, it's 1v1, I slam the GA in the middle of the fight. Because the unit's about to die, I slam the GA, unit dies, revives, and I win the fight. Unless you're intentionally losing, which, if you are, great job. You're, you're actually building up a nice loss uh, streak right now. I wasn't. <laughs> I but, I wasn't. yeah. <laughs> um, that's not better than the Irelia, I think, but okay. And yeah, um, you are actually intentionally losing right now because you have four components not being used. That's actually a pretty good loss. Very good loss. Okay, let's see how you do this. No, no, okay. That's all right, that's not too bad. Uh, always sell the Garen here. Oh, no, 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 okay. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit, normal speed. What are we doing here? We're leveling up. We're selling the Garen. We're selling the Garen. Okay, we're not selling the Garen. No, I didn't sell it yet. Why not? Because I was too distracted by the items. Okay, when do you make items? You should make them right Oh my god. god. Okay, you have IE. Why not slam Jewel Gauntlet with IE? Yeah, I should have. Definitely should have. Like, what does I like? What does IE and Death Cab do? Like, IE Jewel is so so strong. And you can make them rolls. Yeah. And you're making it no trap claw is. You have IE. You should make Last Whisper. No, like. You have these grief sheets open, so like, you gotta think critically. Like I, like it's the items are. If you have I E, so it's I E plus Last Whisper, I E plus Jeweled Gauntlet, right? Yeah. So I E Last Whisper is uh, when it's physical, and this is magical, and Kindred is like Kindred is is just uh, she's just beyond magical. Let's, let's call her beyond magical. <laughs> right? Yeah. So on Kindred, you definitely slam Jewel Gauntlet with IE. Alternatively, if you want to play something else, you slam IE and Last Whisper. Yeah? Yeah. And then you have, or like if you slam the IE Jewel Gauntlet, you still have, you still have Rod for Morello. So like you're completely griefing your items. For no reason at all. And a giant slayer. Okay, why did you make the giant slayer now? No reason. I didn't actually want to, but I was afraid of another loss. So I figured it might help a little. But you could have made the giant slayer here already. If you were going to make a giant slayer. Right. And how, how many times have you scouted? I don't know if I've been, like, I don't think you've scouted once. I was scouting earlier, but now this is where I get weak when it comes to scouting. Because I, I feel like I'm just moving too slow. And there's so much going on that I fall so far behind. So but you just, scouting actually takes a back seat, yeah. But you just click like one, 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 one or three, 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 eight times. It's like literally split second. Like, I, I don't want to pull up my video because it's going to take a while for it to load. But... But you're just clicking three, 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 like eight times. That's all you have to do. Or one on one. Just get into the habit of doing that. Clicking on three, yeah. or actually another hotkey is Q, 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 or E, 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 E. That's, that's, what, that's all you do. And okay. you can do that like 
at, oh. like when you have two or three seconds, like it doesn't have to be long, but you just need to get into the habit of doing it. That's like, you, I don't even want like you to actually like scout for real. I just want you to flip through other people's boards. So like your brain is going to recognize things from like past experience just by like looking at the boards. Right, like, right. And at least like you'll see like the synergy slide up. So if, for example, you see hunter, 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 then you're like, okay, I'm probably not finding an ash. If you see like enlighten, 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 you're probably not finding Talon. Right? Yeah. So like just based on the synergies, you kind of know what people are playing. Yeah, sorry, I'll put it back here. So you slam like, because you really need to think about the items. Like these items are very suboptimal. And the reason Giant Slayer is very specific is like here you actually use the Giant Slayer on the Morgana. But in most games, Giant Slayer is not that important because what does Giant Slayer do? It's only for units that have a high health. Yep, it helps against high health units. And typically yeah. not that many units actually meet the threshold. And you are so lucky with the Shens. Okay, now I you find the Garen. Okay. And you... No. No. I did it. I did it. Do you have any items for Riven? Nope. Like, it's not even Dusk. If it was Dusk, I, it's kind of okay. But if it's Keeper, it's really, like, nothing. Keeper is so bad. And you're positioning... Uh, uh, Horrible, I know. <laughs> I realized after it went over, I said, oh man, I didn't even position around the keeper. No, no, okay. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but you never roll on the round, like during the round. That's the worst thing you can do. Why can you, why should you never roll during the round? I don't know, honestly. Econ thresholds. If you roll during the round and you buy units, then you don't get interest. That's fair, yeah. So you never, like, sometimes I overdo it. Like, you should kind of roll if you're about to die. Like, if you have 10 or 15 HP. But right now, you just rolled once. And you're considering buying maybe Aatrox or, or Jin or something. But, like, if you do buy them, then you're, you miss out on Econ. And we're scouting now. Nice. Because I was considering the Jin. That's why I scouted. You're considering, sorry, what? What were you considering? I was considering the gym. That's why I scouted it. The, the chimp? What? The gym. The, the gym. gym. Oh, the gym. Yeah. Yeah. Gin Timo. Over Kindred. Kindred Warwick, yeah. So, the way you do this, why, like, why there's so many things wrong here, is if you're rolling, when it's like, in between rounds, you need to get fast at rolling. You need to use the hotkey to roll, which is which is uh, what? Yep. So, the right thing to do would be to sell the Jinx, because uh, sell the Riven, because you never want the Riven, and you buy the Jin and the Timo and the Aatrox, and you keep rolling. You roll down to zero. Maybe you two start the Jin. Maybe you two start Aatrox. Maybe Timo. Like maybe you two start something else. And then you put in the two-star units and you sell the rest of your bench and you're back at like 20 gold. Yeah. I didn't go with the gym because there's three other shark players. So I figured that was a bad play. I just left things as is. Okay, and did they have two-star gin? No. So then you buy it to make sure that they don't get the two-star gin. Fair. But like obviously not to break not, not to break an econ threshold. That's like you never do that. Because these are the comps that just like bewilder me when I play with, with sub-master players that they just slap together a bunch of units. And then, then I get like on my, on my Discord, I get like a screenshot of like, this was my final board. Why am I sixth? I'm like, what are the synergies here? Like the synergies are actually really good. Like if you take out Riven and, Riven and Thresh and put in like Ash and 
maybe uh, what's his face, Aphelios, like then your synergies would be really good. But right now the synergies are kind of sad. Yeah. And I don't know why this guy is so weak, but yeah, he's going for three star Nidalee on seven, which is a complete grief, and he has four items on his bench, which is another grief. So, like, you're playing this pretty damn poorly, but don't worry, the rest of your lobby is on the same boat. <laughs> so, which is why. <laughs> but I'm not getting the diamond. <laughs> yeah, which like you, it keeps you going back and forth essentially. Yeah, essentially. But like it's it's nice for me. It's nice and relaxing looking at these lobbies, because it feels really good. Like I know I would like completely demolish these lobbies, and I just know my lobbies are so much harder, because everybody's doing every little thing they can to to win. Yeah. So why why belt here? It was actually for, um, uh, what's his face? Lee Sin, the guy? Yeah, for Lee Sin, yeah. Okay, so you're losing Hunter for a random Lee Sin. Okay, who is the carrier of the comp right now? Nobody. What do you mean nobody? <laughs> who is... I mean... Technically, <laughs> um, uh, she is. But, uh, Kindred, right? Uh, yeah, but I know that I'm not going to keep her at this point. Okay, but she's your carry right now. Right. So how do you make her stronger? Like, how do you make... Synergies. Synergies, putting in the Hunter. So, like, if this was a naked Kindred, putting in the Lee Sin is better. Since this Kindred has at least two attack, like, two attack damage items, which is the IE and the Giant Slayer. Taking out Hunter makes you a lot weaker. Uh, yeah. And why is the Lux there instead of the Warwick? That's a good point. Like, it's not even that bad that you that you put the Lee in, but like, he should be in there over, over Lux rather than Warwick. Right, she had no synergy. Yeah. I guess I just figured because she's a better unit as a one, one star over Warwick, but I was Yes, uh, Lex is better than Warwick, but not when you need, not when you need Hunter. Right. Holy crap, this guy has a Nico and he hasn't three-starred his Yasuo or anything, and he's just... Losing more HP. I don't understand. There's another Warwick. Great. See so if you do anything, you scout a little bit. Nice. You reposition. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to push it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm pretty sure you lose here. It's a Nami. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so again, right now you should be selling the Riven. Like you should always sell the Chosen before the creep round. Like unless oh, okay. you unless you need him. Like maybe against Wolves you kind of could have need could have needed the Garen, but like here you don't need Riven. Like you, you're not losing this with, with without Riven. Like I have lost against Wolves before. It feels really bad, so you should keep something in there. The question is, do you sell the ribbon here? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, this, this should not be happening. Like, the most important thing are the units on the board right now. Not items getting dis like distracting you. And that's exactly like the... I guess I guess you weren't here for that when I got my fourth a few games back, and that was because I was distracted with items rather than two starring units and putting in better units. And I and I lost that round in particular. It was on six one. 
So like you you essentially spent twenty three seconds making a thieves club. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that kind of hurts. That yeah, that it hurts, all right. <laughs> and that's okay. And now you roll. And now you grief yourself, and you still have the ribbon in there, and oh, so many things wrong. And you're yeah, you're still like. So now you're rolling and fucking up your econ. You're not buying the kindred, which is very interesting. You're not buying the Yumi, which is very interesting. You just sold the Ash, which is just extremely confusing. And you just sold the Cane. Dude, what 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 are you trying to achieve here, please? I was just I don't know. Honestly, I saw the Yone and I said he's better than Kane. But you I'm had Yone, Kane, Kane, and Ash. And your board is trash. Your board is literal is trash. trash. <laughs> so like what can you keep on this board? The Shen. The Shen. That's that's the only thing you keep. Pretty much. That's the only thing you keep. <laughs> Pretty much. So, like, if you're in this position, that's like the perfect flex spot where you get rid of all of this trash. You keep the Shen. You put in Yone. You put in Ash. You put in One Star Kindred. You keep the Warwick. You put in yeah, um, Kane. And maybe you keep the Lux as well since it's two star. But like here, it could have been. Yeah, Lee is keepable. Okay, they're saying Lee is keepable as well. But here, it could have been Warwick, Ash, Kindred without items. You sell this one. You put the items on Ash and uh, either Kane or or uh, Yone. Uh, Kindred, Ash, Shen, obviously. Although the fact that you put Thieves Cause on him is kind of sad because you could have put it on someone better. But that's not the worst thing. Then Irelia, and then you, yeah, you put in Yone, you keep the Lux, and you put in Kane. Is that eight? That's eight. How does this board sound yeah. to you? I'm not sure I don't want to get on there. Yeah? And possibly, possibly you could just keep the, the Lee over, Lee over Kindred. Because then you have one, two, three, four, four divine at least. Yeah. So, yeah. like. And now you sold it. Now you're itemizing. Okay. Does he do any physical damage? Honestly, don't know. No, he does not. So okay, that's another thing. You got to study the units. Like, most. Wait. Is there, I think all of the five costs are spellcasters. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But I think all of the five costs are spellcasters. So you only want, that's why I start, I start here. Because I typically like to play legendaries. And they don't need like IE. Unless you have Jeweled Gauntlet. Which if you had Jeweled Gauntlet with that IE, that would be amazing. But the IE itself, like, is only good on, on four costs, like, like uh, Ash and Talon and maybe Warwick. But it's, it's not good on five costs. Gotcha. So you still have a random ribbon with a giant slayer. Yeah, okay, Lee, they're saying that Lee feels like the only only five cards that can use IE because he's he's a duelist, so he kind of slaps a lot, but Okay. Yeah. But like you don't want so you why have you sold the ribbon? I don't get it. Like, do you yeah. actually believe that this keeper ribbon is is any good for your comp? Cause that's what no. you're telling me. That's what you're telling me by keeping yeah. her. Yeah. I, I, I just thought if I sold her, I would just be in a horrible position. But you're rolling. Like, you can find yeah. a chosen mystic. You can find a chosen vanguard. Yeah. You can find a desk ribbon, a desk, a desk Casio, something. Because Keeper is no longer a synergy, and you have Thresh there as well, which is a two cost, which is terrible. And you're just, yeah. you've just missed, like, I don't even know what you're rolling for here. Do you know what you're rolling for here? Nope. <laughs> I'm just looking. That's 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 the worst thing. Yeah. 
that's like the worst thing. That's like, uh, I don't know what, what, what analogy that would be, but like, uh, do you like candy or do you like, what do you like to eat? Yeah, candy's fine. <laughs> candy's fine. So you go to the candy store, you bring a hundred bucks with you, and you just like start putting money on the counter. And like they show you some candy, you're like, um, I don't know what I'm looking for, but here's 10 bucks. Show me more. So they show you more candy, you give them another 10 bucks. And then like you run out of money, like, um, I, I, I don't actually know what I wanted. And you wasted like a hundred bucks. Like when you go to the store, you go there and you buy what you want, right? Yeah. And if they don't have what you want, like, I don't know, if they don't have Hershey's, you get Reese's Pieces, for example. If you like both of them. And if they don't have any of that, then maybe you get, I don't know, Skittles or something else. But you don't go to the store, you don't give them 10 bucks, like, you guys actually have what I want, but here's 10 bucks anyway. Because that's, that's kind of what you're doing. You're like, here's my money, I know I'm not buying anything, but take my money anyway. So, and, and now it's really easy on like level eight, level, like when you're level eight, level nine, when you're getting four cost, five cost. Um, I have a tier list on the Discord and, and I can, like, I can tell you the tier list again. Yone is S plus, Kane is S plus, um, Ezreal, Azir, and Zillion are S, um, Lee is A, and Lee is A, Set is A, and Lilia is C. So essentially just get everything apart from Lilia, unless you're running mages or unless you have two star Lilia with like a Cassio. Yeah, you got it. You you yeah. have the you have the vault on YouTube soon enough, but like, just like every legend, like especially, it's like people keep asking me what's better, <clears throat> two star legendaries, like one star legendaries or two star four costs. So yes, Cassio is better than Lilia, for example, but anything is better than Irelia. Like yes, you get three adept, but if you had a Kane instead of Irelia, I think he does more. Okay. Especially since you have three divine, like she's only giving you, you're not using enlightened, you're not, you're only using her for adept. Yeah, yeah. So like some of the things you're doing right, but like the, the major concepts are just off. And I, I mean, Whenever you go into a carousel, you kind of should tell yourself like three items that you want the most, for example. Like what would be the best item for you right now? I have no idea. <sighs> with this... For <laughs> Yone. Yeah, with, with looking at this board, it's, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. It's blue buff for Yone, uh, RFC for Lee Sin because he can just kick from anywhere if he has RFC. So blue buff, Yone, RFC, uh, RFC, Lee Sin, or Yone, blue buff, uh, Lee Sin as well. So something along those lines. You can potentially use Morello on, on Casio. You can use some sort of AP item on uh, Yone, like uh, ideally Jeweled Gauntlet. Uh, you can use a QSS, you can always use a GA. You can always use a Zephyr. You can always use a Shroud. And you go for Onyx Spark. Okay. There's a Zephyr and a Shroud. Uh, Ionic Spark is not terrible because you're essentially only magic damage. So it does amplify all of your damage. So I don't hate it. Nice. Very nice. I do like that. Double Ezreal, cool, the Warwick. Uh, why are the guards in the back? To protect. But why don't you just put them in the front so they just eat damage in the front? Yeah, I probably should have done that. I wasn't scouting, so I didn't know if there was any assassins or... Just pick every legendary up. Oh my god, you're rolling like crazy. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, and I, oh, oh, God, okay. Ugh. 
Why not just dump the <laughs> dump the thrash? What is Thrash yeah. doing there? He feels so no, lost. He sits there the entire game. <laughs> I'll tell you that. He sits there the entire game. You got him no, on two I'm, two. Like no, you got him on two I'm, two. You should not have him on five six. No, I I, I don't know why. That's why I chose this five. Because I looked at that. I went, what the hell did I keep the Thrash for? I mean, the entire game. I just kept him there. Um, Lee Sin one should not be like in there like like that in the front. He's just gonna die. Oh, come on, come on! Your board is shit, and you're getting legendaries. Okay, good. Oh my god, no. Okay, okay. There, there was a little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. <laughs> okay. This is one of the instances where I wouldn't get mad if you keep kept rolling a little bit during during uh, the round. Because you're going to die it's next round. Yeah. So, like, you could, if you're kind of slower, you could roll on the 20, for example. You could roll a little bit. But you have, yeah, the, the fact why Thresh is so bad is because you have a random Thresh, you don't have a Vanguard, and you have three Dusk. Yeah. And that should have been on Ezreal last round. And, no, oh, God. Nico, the Ezreal, before you, oh, my God, just, yeah, just hit, just hit. I was going to Nico if I didn't hit it. Yep. So why is the... I, I, the Rage uh, Blade on Azir and not on Ezreal. I figured uh, Azir was... Uh, I wanted him to get off more shots than Ezreal. But Ezreal has Death Cap plus a random item. Yeah. So, like... If, like... How do I put... Like... If you think a unit deserves an item, then give it three. I'm no. not saying putting the items on Ezreal over Azir are better, but in this instance, I, I would even say that they're better because Ezreal does more damage. So if he casts again, it'll be really powerful, and he dazzles. And he already has two items. Like, obviously, your items are, are not the best, but like here, you definitely want, um, you want the Rage Ray on the Ezreal. Because he already has Death Cap and IE, so it'll just make him do even more damage. And yeah, here you're not using the locket at all. If you slam yeah. these gloves, you gotta check the unit every turn to see if you can utilize locket. Yeah. If, if you put him there, that's a bonus. Uh, what is that? Seven hundred HP, extra seven hundred HP. And yeah, this is why you don't don't frontline Lee Sin because I don't think he does anything. He ults once and he's dead. Well, if he was like in the second row or something, he could actually ulti again. Okay. Yeah. So what, what I mean, honestly, what surprised me is you still got a fourth of this. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that those, those are the lobbies. Like, those are the lobbies. I understand that these, these are platinum lobbies. But, like, your board was... All, like your board was almost there. Like that's that's the that's the, the the sad thing. Like your board was almost there. Like had you sold the ribbon on uh, like before creep round and actually hit like a useful chosen. Uh, typically with this, like when you're playing flex, it's it's four mystic, it's four mystic and legendaries. Because four mystic is a team wide buff, or like at least two like two dusk four mystic, uh, dazzlers. You want team-wide buffs and, and team-wide debuffs for the opponent's team. Okay. Right? Because, like, Keeper gives these guys a little bit extra HP, which is irrelevant. While Mystic gives them effective HP for the whole duration of the combat. And it's a lot more. Like, that's what I can tell you. Like, it's a, a lot more. The, the magic resistance are a lot more than, than these random items. Then, then sorry, the random keeper, keeper shields. 
Yeah, so it's like, it's, it's about the synergy as well. Like, and it's, like, I don't want to be giving you answers. I want you to, like, actually think about the game more critically. Well, I definitely, I mean, the ribbon should have gone a long time ago. Yeah. I know that for a fact. The thrush should have gone. I should have um, put the mystic in because um, I would have had three. I would have had two star. Um, I should have moved the soldiers. Yeah. Um, I did not check uh, Shen's uh, he's close once the yep. entire game. Yep. So I know that was a mistake. I didn't know what to do with the Agni, honestly, the entire time I had it. Because normally, yeah, I would just put it on an Ash or a Talon. I had no idea where to put okay. it. Okay. Um, so maybe you don't slam IE. Or what, uh, do you, what should you slam if you slam IE? Well, see, that was the other thing, too, is because I don't typically play the Asher Town comps a lot, so I, I didn't even know really what else to put with the IE. Like, I knew Last Whisper, but I was... I, I, but I more importantly, what, what, what could you make every time with IE? The other item, um, more important than Last Whisper. What, to go with it, you mean? Yeah, to go with it. Jeweled Gauntlet. Jeweled Gauntlet, thank you. Because if you slam IE and Jeweled Gauntlet, you can put them on any unit in the game. The co like, the combo of those two. Or, like, not any unit in the game, but, like, um, like if you have IE and Jeweled Gauntlet, you can put those two items on any unit in the game. Like, either you put them together or you put, like, Jeweled Gauntlet on Kindred and IE on Ash, for example. Or Jeweled Gauntlet Morgana, IE Talon. See, I normally drill gauntlet um, uh, the hunter I had earlier in the game. Um, but, and I didn't see it. I missed it. I yep. don't know why I went death cap. I never normally do death cap. But for some reason, I thought that was my only option. That's why I did it. Because death cap is too limiting. Yeah. So. I don't like it as an item. I, I um, know that was a huge. You, you made a. Um... You made Trap Claw, which is not amazing. You made Giant Slayer, which is not amazing. You made IE, which is good, but not for your comp. You made Death Cap, which you can, which you actually used. You made ZZ, which is good. So, like, out of the items you made, I would agree with ZZ Rod. I would agree with Thieves' Cops. Those are the two items, but maybe, like, even Thieves' Cops are bad because you could have used the, the glove better. So the only item I agree with fully is the ZZ Rod. <laughs> The IE, I, I, I would agree with, but you didn't actually use it properly. So, like, the only item, like, the only item you made and you used effectively was Easy Rod. Well, sorry, not effectively because it's been all the way in the back the whole time rather than the front. So, you, like, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean here, but, like, no, 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 the no, items, no. the items you made and the way you use them <laughs> does very little for you. Yes. While... All right, let's see it. Let's see this guy. He has uh, Runant and Rageblade on. Uh, I don't know why it's on Wayne, but like it can be used on Wayne. Faster attacks and more procs. Yeah, he has yeah. Zeke's for the backline, which is really good. He has a blue buff on Jinx that works really well. She casts more. He has Rageblade on Azir, as you do. That's fine. Um, he has, that's a ribbon with, with, uh, uh, red buff or, um, yeah, red buff, the, um, sunfire cape. And he has jeweled gauntlet on his Ione. So the only trash item for him is the frozen heart. All right. That he's not using effectively, right? Because like these items are actually like helping him a lot. Riven should be in the front of the Sunfire Cape. Riven should be in the front. But apart from that, like, he's actually using the items quite well. So, on paper, and that's the frustrating thing, your comp, even, if, even though it's kind of random, is stronger. Your comp is stronger. But his items actually okay. augment his comp more than your, your, your items help your comp. 
That's what it comes down to. Okay. And that's why I have the list of 10 items. Like, maybe I should change it a little bit because as I think about the game, as the game develops, as my playstyle develops, I make different items and it's kind of like tough to tell you what items to make because you probably won't be able to put them on the right units. But like flexible items like GA, you, you can never go wrong with GA. Uh, if you make a ZZ Rod, you can never go, go wrong with that. If you make IE and Jewel Gauntlet, they always pair well together on some unit or like one on each. Um, Ionic is kind of okay, but you didn't make that. And yeah, the other items kind of subpar. You could have made Morellos as well. You could have made Last Whisper uh, and like, uh, yeah. And what if you have a Jewel Gauntlet, but you don't have an IE? Jewel Gauntlet's still fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Cause like, there's more magic damage than physical damage anyway. So Jewel Gauntlet can be used by Azir, kind of. Defin definitely Azir, definitely Set, definitely Kane, definitely um, Yone. Cassio can use it. Morgana can use it. Like a lot of, even Lux, if you have to put it on her, can use it. So any, any, any final, final words, final questions or anything? No, uh, this is extremely helpful. And I knew this was a bad game. That's why I purposely chose. Yeah, of course. Of course. I hope I hope you learned a lot. Didn't get too demotivated. Yeah. I know I'm a bit no, tough. No, no. no. I, look, I, I can take it. For Great. Me <laughs> I got thick skin. It's all good. Um, I want to get better, and that's the whole point. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm tired of being stuck in flat, and I know I can't advance until I get better. Well, I'm pretty sure if you apply at least like half of the concepts I told you, you would definitely hit masters like by, I don't know, a week or two. If you actually apply it, think about it. Masters is, is not very far off. I've got to get better with those hot keys. I've got to roll properly, drop, then roll. Uh, the yeah, hot, hot keys are so important. Hot keys are very, yeah. very important. Like, because clicking know. over here is just yeah. too damn slow. Like, yeah. like some yeah, of your turns were painfully slow. Yeah, yeah, I'm very painfully slow. I know that. <laughs> that I know. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like speeding things up. And Kapak says what helped him was that he asked, he consistently asked himself out loud what the best play is in the situation. That's a good idea. I don't say it out loud, but I kind of think about that as well. Like, what is the best thing I can do? What is the best outcome of the fight? What is the best outcome of whatever whatever is going on for you, obviously? And how can you make the worst outcome for your opponent happen? So that's kind of how you think about that. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. So, Space Coast Gamers, thank you for stopping by. Thank Take you. care. I really appreciate this. Thank you. You're welcome.